Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. And today what we're gonna talk about is our Barnyard Bee Mini Mating Nukes. Uh, one of our subscribers had recommended that we make a video explaining a little bit more about our Mini Nukes and how you can use them and what all you can use them for. Uh, there was someone else on uh, YouTube that mentioned that these are for queens only and that if you put a mated queen in in these that they would absconce and they wouldn't stick around long well th we're on our third year of running these and there are two frames you start off with with one frame of bees and there's so many different ways you can start you can do you can just put a frame of young uh, nurse bees that's got a lot of young larvae and you can put that one frame in and then put a, a frame an empty frame with a starter strip beside it and give it 30 days and within 30 days that queen they should have made a queen cell the queen has hatched matured in the hive flew out mated and come back within 30 days that's usually a good marker you know if you do, and, and that's basically called a walkway split. So that's one way that you can stalk these. Now, as far as these not being able to house bees or queens for very long, it's absolutely not true. These do excellent. We we actually overwintered some last year. We, we did a trial. We did seven just to see what would happen. We didn't want to invest a lot of bees in it. And out of seven, six lived. So... If that's not surviving a long time in the colony, then I don't know what is because these will absolutely sustain a queen and a colony just like any other hive, like a nuke, like a 10 frame, like an 8 frame, until it gets packed that it has to swarm out. And yes, they will pack out quicker than a 5 frame, but it's they're not like the little tiny mate nukes that they talk about on YouTube. To me, for the beginner beekeeper, even advanced, to me it's just worthless. These little things right here that you start off with a starter strip and a cup full of bees and a queen cell. Once that queen hatches and she flies out, she's mated, she comes back, she comes back with a lot of bees. They fill this box up really fast and, and and you better be on top of it quick and you and you better not be a, a part-time beekeeper because you run a bunch of these you're going to lose them when she comes back she brings back in her mating flight a lot of bees with her and then what happens that box fills up and then they either starve out because they didn't have enough honey resources or they just get so packed they swarm i run these for one year and and trying to do a full-time job at the same time is about impossible. Uh, I do not recommend these to, to the beginner or even advanced beekeeper. Uh, companies that run these, they run these by the thousands out in the field. And they got, they got a, a big staff, a lot of people to operate and run these things. Look, if, if you want to raise you a few queens, run, make you some of these barnyard bee two frame mini nukes as we call them they're a deep frame they're just a just a plain old deep frame these are versatile you can stock these from your other hives from your uh, eight frame from your five frame from your ten frame they're so easy you can do like i said the walk away split where you can just put in a a, a frame of young bees nurse bees and give them 30 days or you come across a queen cell somewhere. You don't want to fool with it, drop it in one of these little mini nukes. Uh, you can also uh, introduce mated queens. They do excellent. Just like you were stocking up uh, a hive. Uh, the good thing that these do, any beekeeper, when you start out, you should get you a couple hives, two or three, and then along with that, make you up four or five of these. And I'll put the plans in the description. You can make your own. They're not that hard to make. Um, 
look in the description and i'll have the full plans on these copy them share them tell everybody else about them and we want everybody to, to get these and because once you run these you'll wonder why you never did before because they're so easy to do and basically all you do when these get crowded is say for example this hive right here you start off with one frame and it build up and it build up to the the second frame and it's pretty full all you got to do is pull that one frame out sticking in another uh empty mini along with a starter strip or an empty frame beside it and then you got another split it's that easy you you uh you pull one frame out and you got a split it's as easy as that then from there you can do what you want you can put in a, a queen cell virgin queen um walkway split like i just explained there's so many different ways that you can do this and you you'll always have a queen available when you need them you'll always have queens uh, you don't have to you won't have to go buy them you just it's so easy go down to your mini nukes pour your queen out and if if you can't restock them with a virgin queen or a queen cell well just walk away from it just let it make its own queen and you will absolutely love these things and you can also start colonies in these one thing that you can do you can take packages take a three pound package and stock three of these four last year i did four and then you can uh introduce queen cells virgin queens however you want to and it works out great um, so that's about the subject for today is to get you some of these made up you'll love them um, also like like i started to say a second ago you can use these to start a colony with and then transfer these over to a five frame because remember in the previous video i talked about how the smaller the hive the better they build up the, they will build that one empty frame up quicker in these highs than they will in the big in the five frames so they're great ways to start and then you can just transfer them over to a five frame and then put so that then say if you fill up two frames and you want to put it in a five frame well then all you gotta do is checkerboard three other empty frames in between these uh, full frames like you'd put one starter strip one full frame one starter strip one full frame one starter strip and it's that easy uh, you will love these they, they work great um, that's about it uh, don't forget we still have queens we'll have queens all the way through probably till november uh, we pull them once a week and if we don't have them if we just if we get a if somebody comes and buys 20 or 30 at a time from us and we don't have any that week We'll have them the, the, the following week. You can go directly to our website and buy the queens, uh, barnyardbees.com. Um, also check out, uh, you know, we're, we're fully live on our uh, website. We have a, you can buy our high top round feeders that you've seen in my previous videos. And anything and everything that we sell is on there now. So uh, go check it out. You also check out, uh, you can go to her if you need to call her store. It's 706-971-2700. Uh, and don't forget, folks, these are ideas that we're putting out for the new beekeeper. So if you know anyone that's interested in beekeeping, help them out. Share these videos along. Uh, share them on YouTube, on Facebook, anywhere. Uh, share them. Let's try to get these out for people. Because we're trying to get as many people involved in beekeeping as possible and we're anything that i can think of i'm not holding back i'm sharing everything as a commercial beekeeper anything that i can think of i'm putting it out here for people to to get an idea of what to do and how to get started and, and how to keep going so don't forget click on the little like button and Click on the little bell. You'll be notified of new videos. Don't forget, if you're a viewer and you have not subscribed, please subscribe because just by subscribing, it'll put us out there in the search en engines a lot better for more and more beekeepers to see. So that helps out a lot. And that's about it for today. 
Thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.